Tulsi, therefore, I am calling Raja now. Yes. Mr. Tulsi is not here. Raja. Thank you, sir. With a kind of sadness no, no, no. and shame. Next, next round. With a kind of uh, anger and agony, I would like to participate in this debate. I have spoken on Dalit question and the way forward on several occasions in this August House. Today, really, I speak with the shame and uh, a kind of uh, sadness. How long we will be discussing this question? What the Dalits want, sir? Do they want sympathy of others? No, not at all. Do they want empathy from others? Not at all. Do they want pity? Not at all. What Dalits want, they must be treated as human beings. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is what Dalits want. They should be treated as human beings. Absolutely. Sir, pity is degrading the human being. Yes. I am compelled to quote one famous Russian author, Maxim Gorky. He said, human being must be respected, not pitied. Absolutely. Pity is degrading the human being. So Dalits do not want pity. Dalits do not want sympathy. Yeah, Viploji, what are you doing? Dalits do what not want doing? any empathy from anybody. They want, they should be treated as human beings. That is what they want. Whether the so-called grand ancient civilization of India treats them as human beings. That is the question we should pose. Sir, Honorable Home Minister is uh, present. I'm glad you are present throughout the debate. Sir, you are in charge of internal security, but which is the most challenging task before the Home Ministry to secure the internal security? I must say, you must stop the lynching of Dalits that is going on in the country. Look at the nature of crimes. Look at the nature of atrocities. And as Tamil Nadu Chief Minister called, there was verbal whiplash against one of the topmost leaders of our country, Sister Mayavati. And look at the incidents that have taken place in different parts of the country. Sir, in Madhya Pradesh, the shed of one Dalit girl fell on non-Dalit person, so-called non-Dalit person, she was lynched. Shadow, shed, the shadow of uh, one Dalit girl. And in Maharashtra, in Shirdi, one Dalit boy was having a telephone which had Ambedkar ringtone. He was lynched. He was lynched in Haryana. A Dalit girl, she was gang raped three years back. And she migrated from her native place to another town. You all know which is that town, Rotak. And she gathered strength to overcome the trauma. And she started going to college. The same accused, they come on bail. And they pressurize her to withdraw the case. When she refuses, again she subjects her to gang rape. What is happening in our country, sir? I can go on narrating. In Gujarat, what is that? Skinning of cows. Skinning of cows. And the government has not banned uh, the leather industry. Government has not uh, ordered closing down of uh, tanneries in the country. And But skinning of cow becomes a crime. What is this happening in Gujarat? What is this happening in Gujarat? Sir, Hyderabad Central University. That was also lynching, lynching of Rohit Vemula. He was forced to commit suicide because he, is a, he was a Dalit. 
so this is the issue the home minister should take note sir in fact i was hoping at some point of time the prime minister will come and sit in the house and he will listen to the debate because prime minister went to us he went to us congress i am happy the indian prime minister went to us congress made a speech what did he speak in us congress the constitution is the holy book for india the constitution is the holy book for india he took the name of dr ambedkar he took the name of mahatma gandhi i felt happy the indian prime minister taking the name of dr ambedkar prime minister of india taking the name of gandhi and declaring that constitution is the holy book for india sir prime minister should have come for some time and listen the anguish of dalits in this country in this country what is happening sir today there are attempts there are attempts to subvert the constitution there are attempts somehow to replace the constitution with the ideals of manusmriti i am making it this statement very consciously and i can refer the books how it is happening how it is happening sir it is very shocking it is very challenging and it is a challenge to the very constitution dr ambedkar we all take the name of dr ambedkar dr ambedkar said fraternity is the another name for democracy fraternity yeah. is the another name for democracy democracy is the way of life do we understand the meaning of democracy i am asking this august house when ambedkar talked about fraternity that fraternity can be guaranteed only when there is liberty only there is equality fraternity liberty equality they form a trinity and they cannot be separated from one another that is the understanding of dr ambedkar but what is happening today what is happening today it is a lofty declaration in the constitution we the people secure fraternity equality liberty all those things but do the dalits have the equality do the dalits have the liberty to enter into temples do the dalits have the liberty to walk on any street even educated dalits now we keep talking about reservation and dalits have emerged a new section has emerged yes a new section has emerged do they have dignity in social life i am asking why there are modern forms of untouchability practiced in india untouchability i am not shocked when dalits the black people came on the streets challenging the american authorities i am not surprised it is happening in america and how long dalits can go through this suffering go through this hardship i am asking today everyone should touch their conscience and speak out speak out why our own citizens our own fellow human beings they are subjected to such unimaginable crimes atrocities sir okay i am quoting <coughs> why why i wanted prime minister to come and uh, listen to this debate in 2004 in 2004 madhya pradesh government that time which was the party in power in madhya pradesh you all know 2004 the madhya pradesh government issued an ordinance banning cow slaughter cow slaughter the ordinance interestingly refers to manusmriti i am quoting i am quoting manusmriti ranks the slaughterer of cow as predator and prescribes odd punishment for him odd punishment for him so manusmriti has said so it has to be done what happens to indian constitution and the prime minister went to us congress i i wish he should have gone to columbia university where dr ambedkar studied in columbia university there is a bust of ambedkar before that a bust 
there are two books i saw those books one the earlier edition of indian constitution cloth bound edition the other book annihilation of caste it is symbolic it conveys a message if this constitution has to survive if this constitution has to be upheld annihilation of caste establishing equality your imperative yes, sir finally i finish with one th thing sir there are right wing forces they may call fringe elements but they are organized right wing forces in the country they believe in manusrimiti and they want to take this country backward backward in history and this country can never be taken backward this country will move forward okay and this country will move forward sir let me quote given you will like it sir you will like it sir there are people in power there are people very close to power they are influenced by the bunch of thoughts of mr golwalkar and i quote what mr golwalkar has written in bunch of thoughts the hindu people they said is the virat purusha the almighty manifesting himself though they did not use the word hindu it is clear from the following description of the almighty in purusha sukta wherein it is stated that the sun and the moon are the are his eyes the stars and the skies are created from his nabi and the brahmin is the head kshatriya the hands vaishya the thighs and shudra the feet and it of our god this supreme vision of godhead is very core of our concept of nation and as premiated our thinking and given rise to various unique okay. concepts of our cultural heritage okay, now please sir sir this is the challenge today we face we can argue for economic empowerment of dalits there should be dalit uh, scheduled caste sub plan there should okay. be a central legislation for that we can go on demand now there is niti ayog yes, now conclude i am con concluding control. sir in the absence of planning commission niti ayog niti ayog is responsible for plans or Why not do you i bring don't niti ayog here uh, so no. that is one issue sir economic empowerment okay, okay. social empowerment now empowerment control. political empowerment of dalits are important for which the government will have to act government will have to mm -hmm. act this, this so government now. this government whether it will act or not home minister should explain prime minister should explain okay, please. because the those Jaja ji that commit, is enough commit you spoke these heinous much. crimes they are close to the okay. government yeah. they are close Jaja to Jaja the ji. power please. that is where i am questioning please, the Jaja. government I am, I am questioning the government there is an act scheduled caste scheduled now, tribe now that is enough tribe. you spoke But enough how it is simply yes raja so, so sir we can go on discussing these issues finally finally as a nation how many finally as a parliament how we are acting on these okay. issues that with that not you can whether government will act now, or sir. not that okay. is the issue okay cpl punia